Everybody ready? Everybody got everything? Test, test. All right, good stuff. Doc, right. had a great, uh, a, a really a, a, a great scrimmage to, to teach off of. Got a long way to go. I made a lot of mistakes, did a lot of good things, but overall, um, I, I was I was pleased with uh, with the effort. I was pleased with the intensity. Um, but again, we got a long way to go now. Uh, let's get that right. We got we got to continue to practice tough. Uh, we got to continue to have that relentless pursuit to the ball mentality. I thought we started out uh, strong. I thought we kind of tapered there in the middle, and uh, you know, and it was it was uh, uh, as we finished it out. I, I would like to finish a little bit stronger, but but overall, it was a great teaching opportunity. It was a long scrimmage, and it was designed to be a long scrimmage uh, because I wanted to see how these guys were going to respond late late in the uh, in, in in the practice in the scrimmage. Um, we made three quarterbacks live. I made John Stephen Jones, I made um, Connor Nolan, and uh, and Dalton. They were all alive. And uh, for the majority of the scrimmage, I wanted to see how those guys were going to move around with with uh, with everything coming in coming in hot around them. I thought they all three did a great job uh, in those live settings, um, moving the football and, and uh, sitting in that pocket and escaping it when they had to. Um, Cole and and Ty were not live, uh, and Jack Lindsay were not live. So, uh, but it was a great teaching opportunity. I thought that uh, we got some guys out there made some plays. We, uh, from depth purposes, from the offensive line, we went ahead and moved Austin Caps to the O line, from D line to O line. That'll be a permanent move um, as we as we continue to develop depth. Today, uh, he'd been there the last couple of days, and I got quite a few reps in there today. And just my observation of it, in the short period of time I was there, or I was watching him. Uh, he did some good things, and you know I, I want to give him credit because uh, when I approached him, uh, his mindset was, "Coach, I just want to win football games," and that's what we're looking for. And we win a lot of games with guys with great attitudes like that. So we're very pleased with with him. I thought that Miles uh, Miles Mason had an interception today. Chevin Callaway had an interception today. A, a fantastic interception at that. Um, offensively, turned the ball over too much uh, and couldn't sustain a couple of drives because of turnovers. Defensively, took the ball away, but uh, but again, in order to to get tougher, we got to continue to practice that tough mindset. We got to put them in some short yardage, some adverse situations. Um, it's got to be hot. It was hot out there on that turf, um, and and that was that was the challenge I wanted to push those guys through. As I shared with them, three weeks from today, it'll be we'll be starting, and um, it'll be for keeps at that point. We got to be ready. We got to have, have our mind conditioned, ready to go. Uh, for, for whatever the weather brings us that day. But uh, uh, really, you know, as, as we look through it, I thought our kicking game, we put those guys in some tough spots. Uh, I know uh, Limpert had, uh, I know he hit two, uh, two 50-plus yarders underneath a live rush. And I know Stafford hit a 50-plus yarder underneath a live rush, which was good to see. Um, and uh, we, we worked a lot of live punt, a lot of live field goal opportunities. So it would be interesting to get in there and, and see that on, on video. But uh, overall, uh, I thought uh, offensively, I thought we ran the ball well um, at times. I thought Devon Whaley definitely showed that that uh, you know, he's an experienced back. T.J. Hammonds did some really good things today as well. Um, Chase Hayden was held out today from just the tightness of his hamstring, but he'll be back. Malik Williams did some good things. Uh, Rakeem Boyd uh, was kind of his first first introduction to it all. Uh, as far as in some live setting and did some really good things as well. I thought I was impressed in pass protection with some of those guys stepping up. That was the thing we've challenged them on. Uh, all our tight ends did, did some good things, catching some balls right there. But um, offensive line, I, I want to brag on those guys uh, because I, I did think that they did some really good things today. And I thought when uh, we had a couple of short yardage situations and we had to run the football, those guys found a way. I thought Coach Fry's doing a good job cross training them. Uh, they're beginning to, 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 to fill their niche among each other, obviously getting Austin Caps over there. Uh, this was a much needed day for that offensive line. There's been a lot of things going on, a lot of moving parts, and those guys had some success early on today, and, and uh, I was pleased to see that. I thought defensively, um, obviously Scooter Harris continues to flash. Um, Drake Greenlaw is another one. Hayden Henry is another one, continues to show promising things. Uh, Santos Ramirez and you know the guys that, that uh, have, have stepped up um, and continue to lead. We've got to we've got to get off blocks better in the middle. 
Um, I thought at times that uh, we, we, we couldn't shed the blocks like we wanted to, um, especially as the day went. We got to continue to push them. We got to continue to push harder and practice on those things and, and put them in adverse situations right there. We held Randy Ramsey uh, from tightness in his hamstring, but he'll be back Monday. Uh, so a lot of the young guys got in and got some reps. Um, again, I thought Bumper Poole did some good things today as well. But a lot of guys flying around, um, and it'll be interesting as we watch the watch the video right here um, here in just a few minutes. So with that, I'll open up for questions. Coach, where's the quarterback battle after that today? Based on what happened, is there is there a leader or anything like no, that? No, no, no leader, no leader outside of uh, you know the, those uh, those guys we want to put in live situations to see how they would respond. Um, I thought that uh, um, you know, I, 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 know, I thought Ty Story did some really good things. I thought he, I know he started the scrimmage out, and then uh, uh, Cole Kelly came in, and, and, and he got the next rack of number ones, um, and they both led their team down the field and to save some drives. A lot of situational stuff early in the scrimmage. Lots of situational. 49 seconds on the clock. How are we going to respond? Um, so it was, it was, uh, that was all by design. So I thought both of those guys did some good things. Uh, again, I wanted to see the calmness. I wanted to see the same guy every day. Um, but I, I was I was impressed with being able to to, uh, to see three guys live and to see how they would respond to. But uh, all those guys are keep pushing each other. I got several little short things here. How many plays roughly would you say? You remember? Yeah, you know, I, I bet we're in the 140 mark somewhere in there. I, I, I'm just guessing right there. Maybe a little more. Um, you know, could be close to 200. But uh, but it was good. It was it was good. They they. Uh, they were they were extremely excited, and I think they were looking at me there toward the end when I, when I was gonna blow the whistle. But I, I kept blowing it that we was going to the next period, so that was that was good. But we've got to have that. It's what I've told them. So it's a great teaching opportunity, but we have got to to get tougher. We got to practice tougher. So. And Austin Caps is he more a guard, or were you looking yeah. at him? Yeah, times? no guard. We're putting him at left guard. And um, again, I was from what he got in, he got in quite a few reps today, but. Uh, I know Coach Fry was right there behind him and kind of helping him out, but uh, I thought he did some good things, provide some depth for us. The guys who were named up, Dylan Hayes, can you talk about some of the guys who might have played and did you have yeah. any new injuries? Yeah, um, we had uh, Dylan Hayes was back out today, so I was good to get him back out. Um, let's see, Chase Harrell was out, uh, hopefully get him back pretty soon. Uh, Deion Stewart was out, but he, he'll be back. Jordan Curtis was out, but he'll be back. Uh, Briston Gibbry was limited, but he'll be the, in Monday ready to go. Um, let's see here. And Alexi was out as well, and D. Walker were out. And we, we hope to get them back next week. Uh, as far as new injury, outside of anything major, nothing. I think we had one guy that, that, uh, that cramped out there, um, but he, uh, he'll be fine. He'll be back and, and ready to go. Taylor. I'm sorry? Taylor. Taylor. Mike Martin Taylor, he's yeah, he, cramped. Yeah, hey, with Mike Taylor, he, he, he would be back. Just with Caps moving to guards, it's all the more permanent for, for a hold of the center. It is. It is. A, a lot of it is that way. Um, you know, again, we, we, of course, we had Dylan back out there today. This was actually his first time back out there in a, in a few days, so he was working some center, um, trying to get him back into it. But, but Froho got, the, got, got all the number one center reps. Did you have Caps working first team with Kurt or second? No, it was second team today. Okay, team so Dan Cock was still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kurt was doing a good job with yeah. that. Is Gatlin, is he still running second team left tackle? He is, and he actually got some first team left tackle today as well. You know, So uh, uh, we held, um, of course, Jalen Merrick. We hope to get him back soon. We held Brian Wallace today. He'll be back Monday. So it allowed us, we, we did some more moving parts around. But um, as I bragged on Noah Gatlin, uh, both he and, and Silas Robinson, two really good freshmen um, that I'm, I'm very pleased and very proud of. They're getting a lot of reps. They're getting a lot better. Uh, Noah Gatlin got, got several first-team reps today at left tackle. And again, as you would expect a true freshman um, to make mistakes, we had mistakes all over the field today, which is good and uh, uh, allows us to go in and correct some things and be ready to go for tonight. But uh, I uh, was pleased with Noah Gatlin as he's getting some good reps. What, what, what do you specifically like about what, what Gatlin's doing? Yeah. With this team? You know, he's tough. He's a tough kid. He's big. He, 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 you know, he's got to get stronger. And uh, that, that's the thing, I think, his upper body strength. You know, he's, he's just a freshman and just, just trying to figure this whole thing out. But 
Uh, nothing intimidates him. I'm, I've been very pleased with just his mindset. I heard somebody say coming off the field, y'all did some good stuff in the short yard. Can you say maybe who scored some touchdowns? And stuff yeah, like that? it wasn't so much scoring touchdowns. We put them in more of, of um, like third and three and a half, third and two and a half, third and two, third and one. I think we did five or six straight plays. Um, and then we went to a fourth and two situation. So, I, I, again, I, I thought that, that uh, you know, I thought that we did some good things. I know Ken, uh, uh, Big Ken was, uh, was uh, Kenneth was running the ball well. We put him in some short yardage situations. Um, you know, so, again, that, those were, without just going back and looking at the film, I, you know, the defense won some, offense won some, but for the most part it was, it was at the end of the scrimmage and it was a toughness right there and it was short yardage and who's going to stop who? Yes, sir. Coach, just left tackle and who all that you, you looked at there and how they do, how is that going to roll forward? I know that's a critical mm -hmm. spot, blind side and all that. Just what are you looking for and how long can you wait to make a decision on that position? Yeah, you know, we've, we've obviously looked at Dalton, we've looked at Shane, and now Noah, all those guys are getting quality reps there. Um, I think that, you know, there's really no timeline. It's kind of like the quarterback position. There's no timeline. It's just right of finding that right combination in there of guys that uh, that are going to allow uh, you know you know who, who's your best five and whether that's Dalton or Shane and or if it's a freshman no I, you know I don't know um, we obviously you know we'd love for it to be an older guy and I think it will be but Noah's doing some good things and pushing some guys so uh, pleased with that but um, you know so we'll, we'll, we'll keep working them I mean we got to keep doing what we're doing I mean we you know we got to keep putting these guys in, in adverse situations and and um, and keep getting better. You know, the great thing about it is we got another week of practice. We've got another big scrimmage next Saturday, and uh, and then we'll start figuring this whole thing out. With a Clinton, does he a tackle now? Because you've had him he's been off. both. He's been you know a lot of that offensive line is moving all around, and so there's really no set spot right now for for Shane. Or, and we're moving guys all around. Just I mean, that was one time what a couple days ago. I think we had eight guys in the offensive line. That were that were in, that were rolling, and so you're trying to piecemeal and, and, and cut and paste and find the right the right combination of guys. Um, but that's okay, good. That's, that's great. That's why they call it coaching. We got we got to be able to find that, coach them up, and get them trained up, ready to go. Coach, you got any walk-ons that might be placed on scholarship, or if you address that, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, at, at this point, I don't know. I don't know that. We'll, we'll address it that as it gets closer to uh, to the start of, of school. Um, we've got some walk-ons that are, that are playing well. As I've mentioned before, uh, I've been very pleased with Grant Morgan. Um, Ryder Lucas is another one that plays well and really beneficial for us on special teams. And we've got a lot of guys that are, that are, that are pushing uh, out there. But we'll, we'll address that as it gets a little closer. Hey, Shane, you mentioned Hammonds have done some good things. What did he do well today and just what he thought of his camp? What does he bring to the table? Yeah, I, I think, you know, his improvement, you know, we challenged him as, as well as all the running backs in pass protection. And I think he's he's taken a lot of pride in that. Uh, I thought he, he ran the ball well at times. Um, but just his understanding of the offense, his attitude, his mindset. I mean, it's just a – and you got to keep going. I mean, you got to keep pushing. There's competition, and that competition in that room is making everybody a little bit better too. Uh, from a big picture standpoint, how much of install have you got in? Are you pleased with where you all are in that? And how far yeah, you come? You know, I, I think I think both coordinators would probably tell you the same thing that we've put a lot on them. Um, we'll probably you know try to simplify some things today uh, and, and just play simple. With them, but we've thrown a lot at them for the last week. Uh, we'll probably throw a little bit more at them this week, and then we'll start reeling back and finding out what we can do. Um, but. Uh, you know, I, I think that, you know, if you, if you ask me to put a percentage on it, I mean, I think we're, I don't know, 20%, 30%. We're a long way away. A long way away from installment like you want it. And we may not get there this year. we got to do what these guys can do and what they can execute. That's the key is what they can execute. We know it all. I mean, the coaches know the, the entire ins and outs of the install. It's what can these guys execute and play to their strengths. Anyone else? Any more questions for Coach? Huh? Just with Caps move, does this mean that uh, Sosa is more more inside than outside right now? Yeah, I think that you. I think we saw Sosa a lot inside today, um, but um, but he'll he'll also move on the edge at times. But right now, his main focus is has been in the inside. Absolutely. Any more questions, for Coach Morris? All right, appreciate y'all. Appreciate you covering the Razorbacks. Go Hogs. Hey guys, we're gonna.